Well, I'm going to show you well, I have 16, no, 18 <laughs> new sources of money to go to college, no matter what age you are, no matter what income you are, and it's stuff that you've never heard about before. Nobody's telling you about it. You know, everybody tells you about the normal stuff, like the, uh, you know, to fill out the government FASTA form or whatever the thing is, you know, you know for the Pell Grants to get uh, financial aid for your, you know, for your university. And again, remember, no matter what age you are, you go back to school at 60 and apply for this thing, or you're 16 and starting college early. Uh, so fill those forms out. And a couple of things, before I get into those 18 sources, uh, let, let me tell you some other things you should realize. Make sure no matter what college you're going to, even before you apply, you contact their you know, uh, financial aid office to see what may be available at that college. See, that college has special programs, you know, that they have a bunch of money given by alumnus and alumni and everything, and nobody hardly even pays full price for college anymore because the colleges, you know, want to encourage certain kinds of people. And because they want to encourage certain kinds of people, one thing to remember is it's good to shoot low. See, if everybody's trying to get into Harvard, Harvard doesn't need you, right? So they're not going to have you offer your money. But if you're going into a, uh, a lesser known college, they may want you and they'll offer you extra money to come. The other thing too, there's a lot of this college money that at the local level, local rotary clubs, uh, uh, associations and things like that that give money to people to go to college in their community. So go to your local library, your library. And man, remember we have libraries? <laughs> the internet's here, but we still have libraries. And they know a lot about that stuff, particularly what's going on locally. So that's on like our kid got something from some little place we didn't even know about that had a scholarship. They give out a bunch of them every year. Yeah. Another thing, when you go on the internet looking for scholarships, remember, don't give your name to anybody who says they're going to show you how to get a scholarship. All those people are really just trying to get your name and going to sell it. Yeah. So don't do that. Look around or whatever the legitimate places that really want to help you with that. They're not going to ask for your name. You know, and, and that stuff. So be careful of giving your name. Now the other, I think, biggest sin that people <laughs> do is talk to the for-profit universities. Now these are com like businesses. You know, like uh, uh, Phoenix University. They're business. There's a lot of businesses that are called for-profit universities. You know, and, and there's studies done, and, and I'll get you the data if you want that show you. You know, you're going to pay the most for the least uh, value of an education. And now there's even data that says you're going to, you know, after you graduate it, you're going to be in the biggest trouble if you go to one of those colleges versus uh, a, you know, a, pr a private is okay, a private nonprofit, not a private for-profit or a uh, community college or a state university, you know, and, and something like that. So stay away from the for-profits. I mean, they just charge an arm and a leg and they're getting you to take out loan money. See, everybody's in trouble with the loan money. So now, okay, now I'm going to show you all these uh, uh, programs that you know, nobody else is probably going to tell you about. And I have videos. So you could, I'm going to give you a headline in YouTube that you could watch the video. And if this link works, <laughs> there'll be a press here link. You know, you could go right to the video and watch it. So that's why it's, you know, some of the videos are two, three minutes. Some are 15 minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, they're actually, no, nothing more than 10 minutes. So I never. Well, here's the... The first one, I think it's a great place. It's a, the title is 100 million in higher education scholarships for everyone of all ages. This is a great website that helps people go to college, get through college, and do it without debt. And these are, they're like a nonprofit organization that are helping people. They help you with a mentor for free. So they don't charge for anything. And they believe there's so much scholarship money out there that people don't realize and aren't applying for. And they help you search for that. So look at that website. That's one place you should sign up for if you're looking. For, and this is for you, your child, and again, no matter what age you are. Uh, okay, that's the first one. Okay, now here's something I think is remarkable. I think this is probably the greatest thing that has happened in our country <laughs> since the invention of the spinning wheel or whatever the hell. Yeah, but it, it's, it's really a fellow who's setting up a free university. Okay, now they just got accredited. It's very substantial. You know, it's not one of these get rich quick schemes or anything like that. Hey, look at this you get a business degree or an IT degree, and it's all online and free. 
Nobody else has done this in the world. You got to look at this, even if it's not for you or whatever. Remember, these are the kinds of things happening. I think the whole education is changing in our society because it's cost so much. It's crazy, you know. And they were coming up with new alternatives. And so look at that uh, program, uh, okay, and go to that link. Okay, here's another one. Uh, you can make. $300,000 a year and get financial aid for school. Okay, now this video will show you, kind of demonstrate that doesn't matter how, what income you are, there's still scholarship money. <laughs> $300,000, yeah. uh, and everybody thinks, oh, I have to be poor or indigent or something to get scholarship money or get money. No, that's nonsense. So take a look at that. Um, uh, video. Okay, also there's money even at the high school level that helps you get into college and get money to go to college. And, and here's a video Okay, uh, titled, Are Your Kids Getting Their Share of the Two Million Dollars in Grants for School? See, and actually this is math and science money at the high school level to get you a scholarship when you graduate. You know, and it's brand new money, just came out of the White House, so see, this video will show you how to find out if it's in your area. So if you're not in high school, you, know, you don't care about it, but this, if you have kids, okay. Uh, now here's another interesting, a couple of programs here in this video, college money for illegal Ill immigrants and millionaires, right? Remember, even if you're illegal, you're a kid who got, got here illegally and really don't have papers, there's still scholarship money for you. There's 17 states that have it. There's private, actually some for-profit people are even trying to do that and they're giving out uh, twenty thousand twenty five thousand dollars to two thousand students <laughs> to go to their for-profit universities even though I'm not professing go to them that shows you the kind of scholarships that are out there or here's another thing you know uh, there are states that that give you money to go to another if you don't go to their state school you go to another state school and, and uh, you get money to go because you're an out-of-state person but you don't have to pay the out-of-state rate yeah, and they have arrangements. I mean, like DC has one. They give you fifty thousand dollars to go, like the you know, University of California or, or some other state school, because they don't have, I guess, a big enough state school in the University of District of Columbia. But more importantly, the income requirement on that is a million dollars. You can't make over a million dollars <laughs> to get, to get money to to go uh, to take advantage of that program. Uh, here's another thing. Here's another title. Uh, fifth, uh, bureaucrats need your help to make grant giveaway quotas. That's right. Here, there's an article here that in this video, if you go watch it, that shows $15 million went unclaimed in scholarship money in my state alone, state of Maryland. So there's 15, I'm, I'm sorry, not 15, 17, 17 million dollars of unclaimed scholarship money. Nobody applied. The poor bureaucrats couldn't make quota. You know? So that's, <laughs> I mean, it's stupid, but they're the things that happen. It's a complicated system. Nobody knows where to go. Everybody checks the top three places. And and they forget about all this other stuff and, and it's not easy sure I mean I can't because there's all different requirements and everything there's no one place you could go and get everything so you really have to get lists that's why I'm trying to give you here now is a list you check the list you check it twice find out who's naughty and nice and see <laughs> see if that's for you that's the only way there's no shortcut to this so you could say there's nothing for me because you haven't found it but that means you haven't looked man <laughs> there's just too much money given out for it well here here's another interesting item that's happening now. Uh, get a four-year college degree for only $10,000 from a major university. Watch this video because this is what's going on now in, in, in our country. You know, four-year cost of college now in a public school, you know, a state university costs about $60,000. In a private university costs $130,000, right? So 60 to $130,000. Now their state university is going to do it four years, 10 grand. That's it. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's amazing. You know? And they're going to do it with a combination of online courses, offline courses, and things like that. So watch that video, uh, and then you can see if there's something like that is available you know, in, in your state. Uh, and that's important. See, there's important developments happening. So everyone, you know, is thinking about college money from old thought. You can't. You have to think about the new stuff that's going on. Okay. 
Uh, here's another uh, video. Scholarship for dumb rich people of any age. <laughs> and, and actually, this is at, at California. You have to go to your state government. Like the state of California has so many scholarships. They have scholarships for, for people who make up to $150,000. So. Yeah, scholarship, 150, they call it middle class scholarship. So in California, you're middle class with an income of $150,000. Now listen, they also have a grade requirement. Okay, a grade, okay, you have to have a certain grade point average. You know what the grade point average is? 2.0, that's just pass it, you pass it. You go below that and you don't pass. Above that, <laughs> it's gravy. So that, that's, what, that's what I got in college. I got a 2.000, just whatever it was to pass. I got that. <laughs> so that's why the, the scholarship, are, you don't know what to ask for. That's why I try to provide lists. You got to go through these lists and see, hey, is there something there for me? And a lot of times that, that, that thing leads you to something else I didn't know about, you didn't know about, nobody knew about, but now you will <laughs> and be able to take advantage of it. Okay, here's another one. $10,000 for adult women to go to college. That's a big market. There's more women on campus now over 35 than there are 18 and 19 year olds, right? They're smart. Women are smarter than us guys. They know where the action is. That's why there's more women on campus you know, than there are men, even from, from high school. Uh, here's another program, uh, a video. Watch this, because it, here's $10,000 for women over 35 to go back to college. That's another problem. See, there, there are all kinds of programs just for different things. Or here, a, a video here where you could go watch now. $4,000 to study to become a teacher. <laughs> or here, how about get all the money you need for school and living expenses to become a healthcare professional. Lots of money for healthcare professionals because we need more healthcare professionals in this guy. All this old farts. Yeah, we're gonna need more healthcare. We need people to take care of us. So the government supplies more money to get people educated in that. So it's a booming industry. So that's why there's a lot of money for that. I hear here's GI money. That's right, people in the military. A lot of people already in the military know that. But watch this video. This young guy, he got full tuition and living expenses to become a coach. He wants to be like a a, a trainer, athletic trainer or whatever. Yeah, and that's available. And he talks about how you could get free research just for vets who are looking for opportunities and things. And remember that every county has a special office just for vets to find out what programs there are because a lot of these programs for vets at the federal level and the state level. So always start locally. <laughs> and now here's another opportunity that's going on now. More and more people are figuring out how to pay in-state tuition and you really came from out of state. See, there's a way to do that, and people are figuring that out. This is a video that it describes the process. There's even companies that are going to charge you ten thousand dollars to do that because you could spend, say, fifty thousand dollars, but you don't have to pay anybody to do that. You know, uh, everything is very clear and open, and uh, you just have to read a little bit and ask some questions to the right people. And, and this video will show you all about that. So you could go for like you know, 80% uh, discount, you know, uh, you live in Pennsylvania, you want to go to Michigan State, and you can go for an 80% discount. Maybe not the first year, but the second year and so far. Okay, here's another one. Uh, this video, get a free college degree for a job at Microsoft, HP, and more. Okay, that's that video tells you a bunch of programs. Really, there's free colleges. So a whole bunch of colleges in the country now that, that go you could go for free. They're set up for that, you know, and, and they're legitimate college, colleges and whatever. And actually, I found out about that. There's a wonderful documentary called Ivory Tower. It talks about the crisis in higher education. And it really is a crisis, you know. I mean, if you look at that uh, video, you know, our video on this, it shows you how, like from 1980 to 2010, food went up 200%. Okay, so in 30 years, food went up 200%. Healthcare went up 600%. College tuition went up 1,200%. So twice the amount of <laughs> healthcare, and healthcare went crazy in those 30 years. This is why we're in financial trouble. So the next big financial bubble 
is all the student debt and higher education because it's required more and more now to get a decent job in our society or any society to compete globally. Man, people in other countries are kicking the pants off us because of education. So we can't you know, put that aside anymore and we got to solve that problem. Now here's another website. It says, here's how to get money for someone who needs an education, training, or skill. This is a website set up for people to get money to educate other people. Terrific idea. So you could use crowdfunding now, you know, to get uh, uh, money, you know, for a friend of yours to go to college or your kids to go to college or something like that. It's all set up for people to get education and training money to do, do things in their life that requires it. Well, here's another interesting thing. I don't know if you saw this, but we have a video on it. How would you like to get free money to pay for college with your cafe latte? Cafe latte or whatever they call it. Coffee, you know, latte. Uh, espresso. Uh, actually, it's from Starbucks. If you work part-time at Starbucks, they'll pay for your complete college tuition. It's from a great university. It's an online course. University of Arizona. Uh, it's a wonderful program. Uh, watch that video we have about it. Know about these. So you're not going to use all these things right away. You may. After you start going through the process, man, you're going to say, hey, that thing doesn't sound so bad anymore. After you find out the other thing. Uh, so that's why you got to take a look at all these programs. And here's another uh, program. Actually, $15,000 to attend college if you're an immigrant illegal and you came here as a child illegally. We have a special program now. <laughs> Actually, what it does is pay for your sophomore year. So you got through the first year, you've scraped the money to do it. Oh my goodness, you're a sophomore now and can't pay. So this is a special scholarship program just for that. So I mean, the problem is, to me, it, it's so big. You, it's a numbers game. It's like going out and getting a date uh, or anything like that. You have to knock on a hundred doors, you know, to find something. It's not going to fall in your lap. So you track down every lead that's possible and see where it leads you. And that will lead you to something else that I didn't even know about. And you certainly didn't know about either <laughs> because you don't keep up like this. Uh, I do. I keep up on it every day and I still can't know everything. So watch those videos or just pick out the ones you want and we'll be adding more all the time. So keep tuned to our YouTube channel and say you got 18 videos telling you about money programs for higher education. Nobody else is going to tell you about it.